We are storing the ribbons with the T-ball vault handle. Take the shotgun and the M19 with me. Also, some flesh grenades. Keeling, next little business. Up ahead, down the stairs. This is the shotgun. This is the M19. Down the stairs we go. Obviously, there are enemies nearby. Yeah, look at that thing. Just aim and fire. Oh, do it. Simple enough. Ah, there's something here I need to clear out before I open this gate. That's a couple of items. Nade. Anything else? No, the coast is clear. That clears out the lower water, of course. Great. Yes, now let's go Okay, the whole problem was that uh, the entire area was marked as not having been cleared because of the item that was on the other side, so now I no longer have to worry. And of course, uh, I'm gonna have to go over there. Yeah, all this hasn't cleared out. I have to make my way over here, though, to the workroom lift. There's a path to kill you anywhere, possibly. We shall see. Will you get enough? Right, this isn't broken. Not exactly. Turn it and raise the. The what? A solution would be something used against uh, water, I guess. It's called liquid, something like this. It's gotta be a name for this, uh, like a sort of barrier. I guess they call it doll, obviously. We need that key. And of course, um, there's nothing we can do up here, is there? We have to open this from the other side. Now, I could go ahead and do just that. The workroom lift, uh, yes, has other uses because you can actually open this up, get on the lift, and uh, visit the area upstairs using up the key. You know what? That makes perfect logical sense. Oh my goodness, it makes so much sense to do that instead of waiting for the filth over here. Not because I want to put that off. Put it up, presumably. No. <sighs> Indeed, I hate that section, but that's not the point. Well, why am I going here, then? <clears throat> hmm, I could ditch some items. Yep, I'm going to need those slots. Instead of here. I think I made the same mistake last time. The general idea is that, uh... Actually, the general idea was that since I... Sorry, this is so, so nice. That since I had all these slots filled, I might as well go upstairs, use the key, and, uh... Oh, and so on. Because... I will only go down to the waterway once. And I would not like to ever again return to that dreadful place. Oh. I have four slots available. That'll do, I guess. Since by freeing up those inventory slots, I have just rid myself of the only excuse I've had not to go immediately. So, let's go, I guess. Let's actually proceed. I know this place sucks, and it's ultimately the tiny instead of ammo we can find, though. So let's find it, rather than, you know, not. I know. Don't panic, Leon. The hell was that? Oh my god, this is getting worse. Yes, yes it is. <sighs> Along the left side wall. That's it. I also gotta remember that I have this to throw, and that I have the quick turn button. So the usual... The SOP is, toss it, turn around, the fall do not kill- no, 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 no! Lodge it into its whatever. Gotta toss another one, damn it. I'm sorry, Leon. There's very little I can do for you. Oh, there's the ammo. What? I'm sorry, Leon. <coughs> Poisoned? Poisoned wasn't... Poison wasn't a factor last time. <coughs> Need this toxin out. I... I... <sighs> no. I need a blue herb. I 
I'm so sorry, Leon. <coughs> All right. I guess this was more uh, exciting, and I, yeah, I guess the path was slightly different than last time. If you mix red and blue, does that work? Or whatever. We're using the blue one on its own. Oh, great. And he's now just dangerously low on health. There's a single zombie here. He's gonna plop on down. To scare me. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, there's nothing up here, is there? No. Let's just drop on down. No! No! Oh, damn it. Oh, hell no. Wait, it's down? That's fascinating. Do you see the ammo? No, not here. No, ignore it. No poison in his veins. As you can see, combine. Stop trying to teach me about combining items. Here, you happy? What? Are you disappointed, Leon, that the solo ammo you have? <sighs> yes, quite unsurprisingly, once you know exactly which path to take and what to do, the challenge just disappears. The try mixture. A mixture should totally try. You know what? I'm just gonna. Because the zombies gonna get up again. It's kinda what they do. It's basically all they do. Now look at the king plug. To plug the king. <sighs> I have the king plug. There's a uh, the queen plug. The blue band I mixed into this stuff. Okay, how how do we solve this again? This requires a queen plug. This plug is here. So we lock this up. Unlock this. Right? No. You put the king here. Take the queen back out. I'm not even trying to solve this logically, I'm just uh, playing around with these at this juncture. <laughs> now, I expected him to get up, so this is not much of a surprise to me. And away goes his head. Either way, the next step is to take the king out from over here. Yeah, so if I take the king out, there's no way for me to actually access the other spot. So here's the deal, you put the queen over here, unlock the path to the king. Well, I didn't even have to put the king here to begin with, really, really. that's just what you use for the line to leave, I believe. Right, this requires the queen for it to even be able to enter, so let's take this one. Still haven't solved it in my head before taking the entirety of the plan. Once again, there aren't that many combinations, and it's much faster to solve this like an animal through trial and error instead of actually coming up with a, a proper solution. Now it's of course the flame floor. The, the, the flame floor. What the flame floor? Uh, hold the button to fire the flame floor. The longer you touch the target, the bigger the flames you create. Lovely. Except it really isn't, is it? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. From this place, I am able to unlock something. No, no, no. Am I? Yes, I interact with this. Unlock it from the other side, and uh, bash the Sam. Just like that, I can take both of the plugs out, right? No, that's right. Hold on. So I have this one here. What's the other one? So now that I have this path unlocked, it becomes much simpler. Oh, I still have to be able to access it, so this stays, I guess, at least for now. If I take this out, do I have an alternative path? Yes, I guess, because I can put the queen here. Go through the doll. Take the king out. Right, this is inaccessible, so no, no dice. Ah, uh, well. If I want to be able to take the king plug, 
I've had access to the other side of this. So we take this away. Okay, but if I take that away, will I be able to access anything anymore? Your inventory is full. Gee, thanks. You're not particularly hot, am I? No, well, in that case, the green goes away. Right, you put, you put the king here. You take the queen out, queen out, she unlocks this, then you whip around, take the king, she locks the path over there, and now, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is run the gauntlet the other way around. It should be significantly less worrying because this time around, there's nothing for me to pick up, so I don't have to worry about any straight items in my unacceptable greed. I can just plow my way through. I can also hypothetically use the flame flow. Remember, I weapon, especially against the flames, flames, always ready for the long haul. I really don't have much ammo on me. Huh. I think the flash grenade is largely the way to go. I should also. Stupid toy. I don't know. Is there an achievement for of them? Is there any other benefit? No good. I think I'll use a fortifying mixture on my way out and then I'll toss the flash grenades. I gotta remember, you toss it out and then we whip around. It goes flash, then you whip back around and you run. So the blinding yourself in the process. Alright. Let's go. You gotta uh, stop depressing the run button, and then and only then can you possibly pass. Oh, there's a there's one that pops up here. Oh no 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 no! I did toss it quickly enough, so the monster got affected, and I can pick up the key since I freed up a slot. Using the fortifying mixture, though using the fortifying mixture as a result of all of this turned out to be superfluous. One of the zombies may get an up. Two of you, huh? Now oh, don't be so mean to zombies. What did they ever do to you? You know, never mind. I have the fortifying mixture. I could hypothetically go on a little adventure. Ignoring all of this, but no, no. First I'm going to dump all I picked up, and then I'm gonna save. And then only then shall I actually go for the lift, and everything else that lift implies. Any spell ammo that I haven't can be proud of? My goodness, I, mean, I have ammo for the Lightning Hawk. Just the way I like it. I've done that to myself, I have no ammo for the M19, no ammo for the shotgun, no ammo for Matilda. All I have is spell ammo for the, the Magnum. Not all of it. I'm not gonna, what well, am I gonna use then? Uh, the Flame Thrower, I guess. That's what you want to do, I'm gonna use the Flame Thrower. Should have uh, scorched zombies well enough. Right. We are saving here because I'm not going to that nonsense again. I hate that bit. And I hate the fact that I did manage to forget how exactly you're supposed to go for that section. All I, um, all they've it up on me, I guess. Either way, it was not a pleasant experience. Doesn't really matter in the end that much, does it? The upshot is exactly the same. Okay, fine, it's not exactly the same. But, so. uh, go to the lift. Do I still have another flash? Yes, I do. Very well. <laughs> Just ignore it. Oh no! Okay, fine. Use the flash. <laughs> Wrong way. I right, gotta remember, I'm going through the and then on the right going to be something of use. Oh no, come on. He's still fine, surprisingly enough. I've wasted some ammo, but... You know what? I don't regret this, necessarily. I've torched that thing. I deserve to get torched. I've wasted a... Flash grenade, big whoop. I have so many of them. I I'm gonna be absolutely fine. Do I have the nade with me? I don't. I've neglected to take it with me. I only have myself to blame, but that's okay, I'm gonna find plenty of stuff over here. Hiding place, we'll develop that soon enough.
Oh, I'm completely out of ammo now. Well then, well I don't have any other weapons with me, so no ammo I find is gonna help me to any extent. Oh no, don't tell me. No, this is not how this ends. Oh no, no! Get on out. No! Damn it, I knew this was coming. Why did I. S <laughs> Exciting. Clear this out. Well, if they get up again, there's basically nothing I can do, is there? I guess I have ammo for the flame for a while. Other than that, I'm about to get everything. But yes, we go over to the break room and unlock this. Let's just use up the key. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, use up the key. All right. Which means, I've not freed up a slot. You pick this up. Put in the boom. Get one of the ammo. Combine this with the other stack of ammo to get you more ammo. Jazz Festival, I know this one. I already solved this. Can I take the plug right here right now? Ah, oh, this will make matters difficult when you want it. Yeah, but then again, I want this stupid blood right here, right now. After all, this is the way to get out while having the blood. You go around. And you arrive at the secret room. Well, you eventually are sped out of the door. Whatever. Anything of use here? Yes. Not sure what well, but it's the uh, magnum ammo that I can't pick up because I don't have the space for it. Hmm, I'll come back here. So enough. I'll lock it from the other side. And I only say after a bit busy with this necessary, it's done. But first of all, we're going up we're using a key item, equipping what we need for our future endeavors. What do we need for our future endeavors? Because the next step, since we have acquired all the plugs, is the boss fight. Well, that makes matters rather straightforward, doesn't it? The next thing is the boss fight, I should equip the weapon I say for those precious boss fights. Because if I'm not saving up for those, what am I saving up for exactly? Leon? Uh, huh. Wait. Oh no. What about this then? Can I make my way back to the lift? I think I should be able to. I fretted over this every single time, haven't I? Hi. What is the fight? I mean, you can get to it, I guess, from the upper waterway. How would I get to that right now? Because you can only get from the other side, via this. And how do you get the? Am I going to break from again? Yeah, we're going further down the line. That's the next thing you'll knock. Okay, fair enough. Well, in that case, I should uh, get on with things as quickly as possible. Uh, first, let's, reload. let's do all the busy work. Let's get that out of the way, quickly. Uh, Shalpa, where's my, my M19? Here it is, right. So, M19, reload. Matilda, reload. The roll of film. I need to develop well. There's a point to developing this as well. Hmm. Yes, but I can still store it here safely. Since under the dark room already has an item box. So that's not something I have to worry about. I have enough guns to be able to be safe against zombies. If I can't manage like this, my goodness. That's absolutely pathetic. I should be able to deal with anything and everything. Nothing for nothing. Okay, first of all, I have to clear this area out. And to do that, I'm going to first pick up what this was. Magnum ammo for enough. Now afterwards, I'm going to go over here, get rid of the does, does that even work? Hmm. Yeah, I think it does. Although, of course, it's, uh, it's worrying. You go for here, you figure, oh my god, these guys are gonna get up any second now, but you won't. It's fine, it's all fine. Actually, this isn't perfectly safe. The monsters are allowed to get you. <sighs> so while, yes, this is the final use of that. Hmm. Uh, it's essentially put... Either way, I'll have to backtrack, essentially. I could give up on this role film, refuse to develop it, and, uh... Therefore, refuse to backtrack time to get additional bits of ammo from the police station. Or, I could insist on using the handle right here right now. After which point, I would have to backtrack again. Now, the use of the handle up here is a... Uh, well, up there, to where we are about to go. It's a... Uh, I'll let start the sentence. There's no point using it here because it's already up. That's basically what I'm trying to say. We don't have to raise it, it's already been raised by Claire. So we can leave this behind safely. Our next step is going to be... 
Going to the darkroom briefly, developing that role of film. I might as well whip it out, whatever. Then I guess I might as well take them. I might as well take my telephone spin, why not? Or are you, girl? I have my telephone, okay. So, a few extra bullets then. I'll go ahead and develop this. I'll go to the spots marked on the map, fish out the extra bits of ammo I can acquire, go back over here, and uh, put the whole dog and pony show with the T-ball handle. And then comes the boss fight. All right. I have a plan, so let's roll with it. And by roll with it, I mean roll or fill with it. The tyrant might still be out there, obviously. The liquors may be out there, but it doesn't matter. It has to be done, it has to be done. Yeah, well, there's a liquor out just not make too much noise and hope. Because in general, the fact that it's not doesn't mean much of anything. As long as it's not hurting me, it's all fine. And I have to develop this for Leon to actually see these hiding spots and be able to retrieve the items from there. Now, one of those hiding spots is going to be a conference room. Hold on, can we actually visit both of these? Because yes. this is going to be a conference room. And, uh, uh, no, this might be the conference room, this might be the, the break room instead. So let's go to both of these places. Either way, we know where the hiding spots are. We have the technology. I'm not gonna say it, I'll just be silly. So from here, through the west office, all the way here, and then all the way there to the two hiding spots. Very straightforward. No need to worry. Yeah, just pretty much everything here has been taken care of except for that single remaining liquor. For all I know, the tyrant may uh, be busy with other matters. And now, granted, this is not going to be the best of experiences because I've uh, left a few zombies roaming around. The window is unbarred. I'll deal with any issues as they arise, I guess. There's one zombie here. One of the hiding spots is around. There, there we go. And the other one is gonna be the break room for the echo. So let's go there. Let's not make too much noise so as not to arouse suspicion in that zombie. Are you getting up? Yes, you are. And you go down again. No, they can keep doing that, but it doesn't matter. Those windows I have bought. Uh, this is the other spot somewhere around here, yes. Well, was it? Was it the break room? Oh, dear, I've been through this before. Don't know. Ah, oh, dear. Could be. Hmm. Is it someplace else around here? Upstairs, maybe? West office, east office? Doesn't matter if they break that, no, does it? Let's check the east office. It's gonna be focused on isn't it? No. I've been through this before. <sighs> it's embarrassing. But then again, I guess I don't desperately need all the extra flame for the fuel. So I just think, oh, was it? Was it here? By any stretch of the imagination? Don't think so, it's not impossible, I guess. Wait, no, this looks. Well, right. There's a little flag and everything. Yeah, isn't this the place? Look at this. There's the desk, the books. Ah, uh, the phone. Yeah, there's the phone, though. I, I, I can't remember whether you get uh, one of the hiding spots for the type of playful or both. Because for all I know, I should remember this because I've already contemplated this a while back. I figured, oh, well, maybe it's um, maybe it's office that I don't have access to. Leon. I don't know. At this point, I kind of don't know. Is it, it's not this place, is it? Hmm, there much can't be, right? Whatever. I got some additional flame for, for a few minutes. What can I need? Next step of the operation, of course, is to use the super T-bar handle downstairs. I'm going to presumably need to flash grenades, although I could just set these monsters on fire. Now, the more I think about this, the more sensible this conclusion becomes. Of course I should set the DCs on fire. What else is the flame for a good fall? The final confrontation with the tyrant? No. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Save this extra bit of ammo and we're going downstairs. We're not saving. We're not I should be able to do all of this in one go. By this point in time, I should have the skills. Even if it requires some desperate flailing from me, I should be able to pull it off. Ah, uh, yes, yes, and as I've stated numerous times previously, it's mostly down to the fact that uh, I try not to flail so desperately. I've heard this discussed in the context of bad habits. That is, you can get into a bad habit, and a bad habit tends to be a quick fix. There are, there are really purely maladaptive bad habits that just make you worse, otherwise people wouldn't get to them. That's the whole point. Why would you form a habit that only harms you in some way and does nothing for you? So people usually get into habits that get them part of the way, though, the easy way around, and they get stuck. They reach bad habits essentially local maxima. You learn how to do something kinda well, and then you reach a plateau, you get, you get stuck, because that's not the way to do it, but you can get great results in a pinch, using that method. If you want to do things properly, you're gonna suck to begin with, because you're not going to be able to execute properly. But once you figure that one out, you're going to be able to... The ceiling is going to be uh, significantly higher. Oh, I know how to deal with this situation, of course. So you go onwards. Oh, hello, what have we here? Are you down and out? That's not the way. But of course. Now that thing I hear to the side, oh my goodness, that's nothing to worry about. 
That's just the casing, <laughs> I think. But it scares me to an extent. Oh, I feel something uh, to the right. Yeah, that's uh, just the, the shell casing. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing horrifying is happening. I thought I um, would stumble upon one of those giant beasties. The G's, a little bit called. That's why I brought the flamethrower, but I guess I was horribly gruesomely wrong. Now, do I solve this riddle again? Or um, do I instead rely on my notes? Well, I guess I don't have much choice because my notes don't actually include the solution to this puzzle. Just the reasoning. But thankfully, it's not much of a riddle. Yeah, I've made it. And this has been used up, so I might as well toss it away. Whatever. Give me the Magnum and the Magnum Ammo. The Magnum, the Magnum Ammo, three flashbangs, some healing, and Matilda. I should easily be able to deal with all of this nonsense. Now. You place, place the knight here. The pawn goes here. Ah, the rook's next to, the rook is next to the knight. But not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen. But facing the knight right at the end. And the knight ain't where the case marking says. Wait. Whoa, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that seems to suggest that the pawn is where it's supposed to be, okay. And this is a different puzzle. Okay, I like this. The rook is next to the knight, but not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight. Right at the end. And the knight... Ain't where the case marking says. The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight right at the end. So if the knight is right at the end, and not where the marking says, well, that leaves a couple of options. It can't be here because this is where the pawn is, so that leaves two options. Yeah, this one, which is at the end, and that one, which is at the end, but this one faces the pawn. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight. The king is facing the knight right at the end so if the king is facing the knight and it's right at the end well well that that settles matters doesn't it because uh, the pawn is here this is there are four pieces i could consider at the end this is taken by the pawn so we can't put either the king or the knight over here because they're supposed to face each other which means that this and that are the only ones that remain at the end, so to speak. However, the knight is not supposed to be where it's indicated. So the only spot at the end would be here. And if the king is supposed to face the knight, well, that means that the king, by necessity, has to be there. Now, what else do we know? This is not a spot occupied by the queen, which leaves the queen two other slots. This one and the one in the middle. What else do we know? The rook is next to the knight. But not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen. Yeah, no kidding, of course. We already know that. That's redundant information. Because if the rook is next to the knight, then the rook has to go here. On the other side, that thing next to it is not the knight, but the king. And it can't... F is it redundant information? The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. So that means this can't be the queen. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not redundant information. The rook's next to the knight, not facing the queen, so queen doesn't go there. The king ain't next to the queen. Yeah, there's some redundant information, because this is the king. And it can't be next to the queen, because... Obviously, the rook has to be there. Wait, what? Hold on. No, this is the knight. Hold on. <laughs> Mistakes made. The rook's next to the knight. 
Yeah, whatever, same deal. The rook is next to the knight, but not facing the queen. And the queen ain't next to the king. Well, the king is here. We know that from the previous bits of information. So from two sources, because the king is not supposed to be next to the queen, and because uh, the rook is not supposed to be opposite the queen, we know that this has to be the spot where the queen plug goes. King next to the queen facing the knight, right at the end. And the ninth ain't when the, well, the case mouse king says, which leaves this single spot for the pawn by the process of elimination. Okay, almost there, Ada. I like it, I like it. The puzzle is slightly different, so at least you get to think for the second time. It's not like making these up is particularly, um, that it takes up a particularly high amount of effort, but whatever. But yes, there was a bit of redundant information, though. Mm, I'm going to save soon enough, but first, I'm going to pick some stuff up. Uh, do I have to... I can pick stuff up on my way there. I think I've gone long enough with absolutely no saves. I do deserve a, a break. Well, not a break. Not that I'm gonna take one. I'm going to save here. Toss this away. I'm taking the Lightning Hawk, the Flash Grenade, some healing, and Matilda. Could take the Flamethrower, but it's kind of pointless. Could take some first aid sprays, whatever. I don't care. I'll just pick stuff up on my way. Clear this place out. Oh look, the blue herb. Deep. Damn it. Need the power on first. <sighs> this has been cleared out. And this has been cleared out. Excellent. Now then. Let's get dangerous. That was supposed to be what? 13? Well, it was supposed to be, yes. But that has changed. Okay, okay. Now, you know, I would appreciate it if you uh, made it possible. It's not gonna... Obviously, this boss fight is gonna happen. Yeah, I've walked out of that one. He's still fine, though. I love running past him. It's so fun. But then again, you have to know it's coming, right? Otherwise, how would you know what to do? I just hold forward over here instead of... Um, instead of mashing whatever... Whatever's the alternative, I guess. No, actually, I want to blind it, don't I? Hello. Ah, oh, damn it. 
I got you. Okay. I've got you, Leon. I've got you. Mistakes were made, but whatever. I'm running around the wrong side of him. Blind him. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on now. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna heal up now. That's pathetic. Ah, oh, get out of this. No, come on. Stop standing in a corner. That's Let's do this. I hate this. I figured I would do so well. Knowing all I know. Oh, come on. And now it's injured, huh? Oh, that's brilliant. It's just lovely. It's not the right time. Should have clicked it first, then injured it. Ah, uh, but it's... No, 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 it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine now, I think. I've wasted significantly more ammo than I needed to, but... And I've used up so much healing. Utterly unnecessarily. Also, the flash grenades. Ugh, but still, I've managed. Which I guess makes this good enough. Let's hope that's the last of them. Well, that's all of it. That's all the items over here. <sighs> I'm somewhat disappointed in myself. I could have done better, but then again, it's good enough. I got past this section. That's what matters. Alright, of course. Well, there's no point in taking these out, really. Except because it marks the area as uh, thoroughly plundered. Which is kind of motivating, I guess. I'm doing so poorly at this game, though. Ugh, atrocious. <sighs> Should be so much better. Alright, might as well take Matilda, nice and healing, flamethrower, and the actually flamethrower. Ugh, I don't... No, I know what the flamethrower is for. Duh! Yeah, there's a very specific reason to use the flamethrower. Should have been using it recklessly on these creatures. So now we're tossing the flamethrower for now. I know what's up. I know what's up. Now we'll just take this. Something we're gonna fight anything soon, anyway. Uh, damn it. Let me careful. No, that don't make it worse. Okay. Okay. Where's 
Okay, I'll keep looking. There's nothing over here. Yeah, I have no items to retrieve. We're going to the nest. Alright. You're not second. I can't wait for the FBI to bring a headquarters to take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get you guys, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon, trust me? Trust me? Honestly, I didn't thought I'd get Right. I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G guys, I can make sure we're having my PC and never have to get it. Yeah, save yourself. It's a federal case. I don't want to be boring. Look at me. I'm on liability now. I'm going to finish this case here the last time I got. I'm just going to leave you here with your attack. We can help. Don't worry about me. I gotta see this through. I want to see you again. I gotta find you before. Trust me. Now, the light Yes. Okay, this is my stuff. Please grab the shine. Give me this. Okay. Leon. Come on. You could have even though we pulled this junk trailer and presumably it'll be lying around someplace else to pick up. Uh, whatever, there's nothing here. Nothing to pick up. Nothing else. It's all locked in blue. No point in checking any further. It's blue. It's fine. For your safety, stand clear of the doors until we open. Welcome to Enjoy Okay, Hmm. So safe, wasn't it? This place, I mean, yeah, I think it was fine. Here's the map. Some shotgun shells. Yeah, I think a shotgun isn't half bad of an idea. I think I basically won't have any inventory space left for like, huh? Well, technically, if I switch to a shotgun, I get to reload it, which gives me plenty of space. Well, is that plenty? That's pretty complex plenty. <sighs> Bitching Matilda. Hold on, wait a minute. I didn't say enough to the fact that I know I did not. Well, come on, actually, surely I'm gonna be fine once I go for here, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be fine once I go for here, that seems to be I'm gonna be better, any better after going for this place. It's just preposterous as a concept. You know, I think Matilda isn't the worst ideas. Fine, I should be able to get through that without dying. If I can't, then once again, I presumably do not necessarily even deserve to get away with that, and should try again until I can manage this tiny little bit. Without needing to reload. After all, unless you actually mess up in some capacity, the saves aren't really good for much of a reason. They make sense if you want to actually come back. And just stop playing for a moment. What? It's not for here, so it's just for this door. Do I have, I have an equipment? So if I can grab from the front, I'm gonna be. Can you see it? Or it? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna save. It's just nothing to do. Growing the tension to an extent, sure, whatever. Ah, uh, how many increments do I have left? Two of them, ah, oh, come on, fine. Just the one I found over there, it's not all that I've had. Have had, no, all that I had. <sighs> no! <sighs> right out of the gates. Now I don't have the knife anymore. My knife, thank you. <sighs> I'm gonna need it, I guess. There's some stuff to pick up over here. That's enough. I will send to pick up. Well, thank you for that. Excellent. Just one more shot from the shotgun. Not great. There we go. There's the ammo. I guess a couple of hip shots. What? Would uh, certainly improve. Wait, I could not clear out the cafeteria yet? I don't think I'll be able to. Uh, I mean, I'll be able to come back. It's just that uh, I don't think I'll be able to find something in the another area that's responsible for this area being marked in red. So, well, without delaying to find it right here right now. Wait. Still on it? Or what else is there? <sighs> now I think the cafeteria and the kitchen are marked together as a single area. And once I clear out the cafeteria, well, well once I clear out the kitchen, I'm gonna the cafeteria having been cleared out. I think I still have my precious knife. Will that do it? No. So there's more stuff around. Oh, right, this is a, a classic. Brace yourselves. Ooh, another knife. That's kind of handy, I guess. Wait, did this happen or did it not happen? Come on. I'll put it. Yep. Now the knife's not used up yet. Right, right, right. I can reload, but by giving me enough inventory space to get another knife. I still don't have. And now I can't get out. 
But I did figure out the kitchen to the cafeteria. Alright. Oh, this is unfortunate because I can't quite reload. I don't have the inventory space to use that up. I don't have the flame with me. Ah, uh, yes, no, this place becomes dangerous at another point in time. Never mind. Right, I pick up this, integrate into the wristband, and I can get out now. I've completely misinterpreted the situation, of course. Yeah, this place becomes dangerous once you unlock the final bit. Once the power gets back on, and you have to face Wayne Lee. Which isn't quite yet. Alright then, first and foremost, let's stall the fuel. I don't even. I don't most of the fuel, don't I? Ah, yes, yes, kind of stalling is not a cancel, of course, I do. We have to lug the wristband around. Don't have regular gunpowder to mix with the other gunpowder, so much of that isn't going to be of much use. Let us drive, old girl. There's a hand grenade. I need to think long and hard about what I intend to do exactly. Hold on. I did find some. No, there were shotgun shells over there, but I did not take them. I couldn't. Alright, so, first and foremost, what's in order is another trip over there to pick up all the items I was supposed to be doing. She's gonna be perfectly fine, I don't know for the zombies here, doesn't surprise me. Pick up this, pick up the regulator. And that's largely it. Do not entirely. But it's about as much as we can take with us right now. Now I have to figure out when exactly we encounter the Herbies. Because for that encounter, I will need the flame for a while. Make it possible to fight for much longer. Very handy. And it still only takes two slots. Obviously, just taking three slots would be excessive. Ah, locking around the flame for a while doesn't sound like the worst of ideas because if there's one earlier in the game where you actually need it, it's right around here. On the plus side, I can just toss the grenade. Oh, put it in a storage box. Not the most um, fortunate turn of phrase to use. It's the lightning hawk with 14 shots. I could save it for the final or the penultimate confrontation, I guess. Yes, and like a hawk, I have to be on the lookout for any magnum ammo I possibly find. I want to have as many shots as I can possibly save up for the final fight. We'll see what comes out of it. The M19 is great and everything. I'll presumably find some more ammo for it. If not, it's unfortunate. Here's some regular gunpowder that I could mix with a uh, bathroom. I guess I could feed Matilda. And she will take all that ammo. My goodness. What are the rest of the advantages of the M19? Well, it takes a single slot and it deals a lot of damage, I guess. So does that. Matilda takes a lot of ammo. And, uh, and takes two slots. Then again, this with the damage allows burst fire. That's handy. You can also craft ammo for her. That's the 19 The M19 holds as much as it does. And not a bit more. Sounds like a truism, but whatever. But do I want to say right here right now? I don't think I do. Well, in that case, let's get it out. Let's go through here. Ah, yes, that's We find the signal modulator right here right now. Is that No. We ordinarily find the signal modulator far further down the line. Back at... Uh, I know roughly where it is, but I can't exactly... It's in the east area, long corridor with liquors. That's about it. So if we have it right here, we have access to it right now, well... That's breaking everything. I'll take it. I will not save. Once again, I should be able to deal with this. And if I'm not, then you know that's on me. No, no, just blast these zombies with the shotgun. Come on now. I've got this. It's gonna be one zombie, maximum of two. It's gonna be laying, someone coming through the door. So that's about it. So as stressful as this may seem, it should be fine. Right, I need OSS. Let's ah, raise yourselves. Fall ahead, not exactly safe. Hip out, ho, thank goodness, more inventory space. Oh, how I've longed for you! Sorry, Wayne. I will not die, you say. Well, well. Fine, that extra inventory space will certainly come in handy. After all, there are quite a few mandatory items for me to lug around, like the stupid wristband. With the lights on, it's, uh, <laughs> it's much safer. At least I can see reasonably far. Before I can react, let's be swiftly to any threats that present themselves. As they present themselves. Alright, wristband goes down here, as does the melee weapon. What else? Is there anything else I want to have on me? So fuel, possibly not. The stupid signal modulator, let's take it. Fall inventory slots should be plenty. I still haven't saved. Oh, right, of course. We're gonna save in the east area. Oh, this is, of course, inaccessible. We'll have to unlock it from the other side. Drive us enough. More gunpowder. Four ink ribbons. I mean, come on, they're spoiling me here. You can, of course, insist on using them all up. This is inaccessible. <sighs> I know what lies ahead. It's not going to be a pretty sight. And with all of that in mind, I am increasingly tempted to actually take additional flamethrower fuel with me. Let's do it. I shouldn't need it, but my goodness, if I end up so, it's better to have it. Also, this run tends to deplete the ammo pretty much entirely. I know when I say this run, I mean this particular leg of our journey. I have a... Uh, I know, maybe I just um, happened upon this low on ammo last time. I'm honestly not sure this junction. And of course, they could switch things around, just mess with me. All right, flamethrower, below it is Matilda, above it is the shotgun. Gotta remember that. But we are not messing around here. I have the flamethrower. 
and I absolutely should be supposed to use it. Yeah, that'll do it. Crispy. Hello, little healthy. Chop. Check it and firing. Because for the same unit of flamethrower fuel, I think you just shot that additional bits of damage. It's simply worth it. I'm not sure I have enough flamethrower fuel to take care of all of them. Well, they don't respawn, is the good news. If I do decide to fight into a crisp, the slip I have to worry about, I should take all the flamethrower fuel with me. I'm gonna use up plenty of it. I don't have the map of this area. That's unfortunate. Not acceptable. Not completely acceptable. All right, click on child. Right to a crisp. You go for here. You enter the control room. Oh yes, I I remember. Now. Well, is the code different? Because quite a few of these are not. Quite a few of these are quite consistent. The safe combinations, for instance, they were the same. Second time around. Hmm. So what was that code then? I jot it down. <laughs> All right. I see how it is. We'll have to do this the hard way. Not a problem. Actually, it is a bit of a problem considering all the stuff I'm lugging around. But because I decided to fight these guys to a crisp, I can go for this place at my leisure without having to worry about them. Otherwise, this that would be uh, quite uh, horrifying. Right, what do I want? <sighs> Am I gonna fry everything? I only have two shots left in that shotgun. It's the best way to deal with basically well, almost anything out there. Uh, do I. Can I fill this uh, cartridge immediately? I don't think I can. I need to solve a puzzle to be able to fill it. So let's just take this. Fine, whatever, I'm saving over here just because I can. I'm not gonna redo all this nonsense if I fail. And the ribbons are for peace of mind. So let's give myself the peace of mind. So that I was pretty much danger involved in what I've done so far, just why these guys are crisp and juggle the inventory a bit. But I don't want to have to go through those motions again. So that I wouldn't be able to redo it, it's just uh, tedious. Alright, let's go. Through. Yeah, that's bueno. <sighs> Some ammo. Well, sorry, not ammo. Oh, look, The hatch is gonna be closed, isn't it? Oh yeah, but it's gonna be a sign on the hatch. Which says this. The game's positive. So I don't have to fret. Ah, the notes are off the keyboard. No need to worry. Yeah, 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 horrifying music, whatever. No. Unlocked. It's a lot of stuff I have. Yeah, whatever. If I need to pick some stuff up, so be it. Yep, that was enough fuel. Was there anything here to pick up? Yeah, that's blue help. I've slain all of them, that's it. There's the map. No sensible spot. Can I combine two large gun powers to make even more ammo for Matilda? Yep. Even that is more than she can carry. I'm more than double that. Alright, that's a lot of stuff I have. Uh, plenty of places to go, but most of them are uh, inaccessible early on. The server room, I believe, is where I can save. But I don't think I can access it immediately. I'll have to restore the power. Yeah, and I'll have to avoid the liquor later. Oh, we'll see following all the pilots will show up. No power. So what am I gonna do when the liquor show up? Do I flee? Fight? You know, I could switch to a nade and obliterate these guys. Wouldn't be the worst of ideas. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run. Where's the trophy? Oh no. I'm not glad I've taken it, but... Earth? Earth it is! So up and down moves left and right, and the... Oh, wait. That's Earth. The launch is not been cleared out. You know, how about... 
Not yet. How about I try to pick up anything and everything? Oh, Steel Boy. Come here, boy. You have been stolen. It's not here. It's not here. We're going to run to the server room, I think. Also, I can toss a nail here. But I'm not switching away from the knife. I'll switch once I start getting up, I guess. Run. Don't run. What the server room is where the threat is? I don't know, I mean... I... What? what? Oh! Nothing happened! Well, of course, that's kinda... It's kinda the point of having these places be at least a bit different, huh? <laughs> well... They sure got me. Oof, right. I, uh, I can allow myself to carry those two things. Oh, that's a third of fuel. I thought this was, um... Uh, I thought this was uh, a huge canister of uh, gunpowder. Another knife, a fresh one at that. So I should presume this is used one. Keep the fresh one, which this. Keep the extra ammo and the nades. Also, be smart about this and just save right here. Instead of, you know, pushing my luck. I still have a spelling equipment. I don't have to worry that much. I know things are going well this movie. Let's keep it that way. Now, I can hypothetically look at something else. Where am I even going? I've unlocked the server room. There's a low temperature testing lab. That's great. I will be able to... I can start the level 3 badge, can take the level 3 badge to open the old-fashioned way. But there's no point in entering that anyway, is there? Unless that's where the trophy is. Hmm. Well, that's all the stairway. I'm going to the low-temperature testing lab then. That place was safe last time. So it's not gonna be this time. Well, whatever happens, happens. Doesn't matter. The liquor show up, so be it. These guys get up. Then once again, so be it. Nothing to be scared of here. Nothing to fear except fear itself. What the... Uh... Whatever, guys. Hello, there. I... I wanna say, where's the time shoulder? Well, the time's not gonna show up. Now we're here. Also, wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, from a design perspective, it wouldn't make much sense. Cause in the end. No, she could get. You have five new messages. She could get up in this big room. Where she Nothing there from there. So, yeah, yeah, indeed. There's a little down the. Well, not down the altar, I guess. And this combination is. There's the line. Gonna block the line up of that. Gonna sort of a column figure. That's it. Now, the next step, of course, is to get past the liquors without getting, without getting um, attacked by the zombies. Hold on. The, the lab hasn't been cleared out, has it? Or is it just. Um, just the fact that uh, we are supposed to retrieve. Nope, there's some gunpowder here. Is it clear now? It's presumably just a solution. Look, if I like to ruin my day by arriving in an unexpected place. That would be horrifying, wouldn't it? Yeah. So the extent of the horror they can inflict upon me. The next step is to, you know what I need to do, how many times do I have to repeat it. Yeah, there are some zombies though, which uh, in conjunction with the liquor makes the corridor. Annoying. Down and out. So, also, there are some healthy stuff from what I can feel. Which is fine, I guess. Anyway, this guy's brain has been completely obliterated. Then again, who's hasn't? Stop, drop, and fry! Yep. If they have been thoroughly fried, that's how they end up. They say self ignite, and that's it. I've also fried the zombie. No further threats await me here. I have not cleared up the stairwell. Not yet. Oh, there are further threats, yes, of course. Really, that's all, folks. Blow his brains out. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll add this to. Level 35, yeah, yeah. Gotta burn them, gotta burn them. What about this place, too? Right, you can't unlock it in any way, shape, or form. Fine, fine, whatever. And since I have cleared out the entire place so meticulously of zombies, I can easily and safely just go through here, unload all that I have found. Well, maybe not all. Yeah, now I mean. Saw this, the gunpowder, the defense gunpowder. This ammo for Matilda? I don't know about that. What, what, am I, what exactly am I doing right here right now? Um, I could carry grenades. There's a boatload of zombies out there. Right, and why exactly do I go through them? I can easily evade them, dart into the low temperature lab. Actually, no, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Because first I have to fill the container, the cartridge. 24 shots should be plenty. And if it's not, I can always try to fry things. And if frying things, and if I don't have enough to fry things, then my goodness, if I messed up in some other capacity. Also, before I save, let's pick up the few final things. Ah, yes, the final ammo I left behind over here. That's it. If I save right now, there'll be no more saving further down the line until I find anything further. Is that a fair trade? Seems fair. Uh, last time I saved was, yeah, yeah. Mostly because I've dealt with the situation so well, I'm so pleased with myself. I really don't have to go through that again and possibly do a worse job of it. The next step, of course, is for me to go through here and unlock the testing area. Now, just to be the same, I'm gonna put the same in case I'm a hurry, but I believe I fried them all to crisp. As I mentioned before, <laughs> even though it isn't particularly enlightening, I guess, it is uh, really handy to identify high traffic areas in this game and then to clear them from all threats. Yeah, so essentially, to wise to use your ammo. If you're going to go through a given place many times, might as well clear that. Was it uh, a fat one or a thin one? I can't remember. Let's see. A fat, uh, a fat one, I presume. This one. And color? What? Hold on. So it's this, then that, then I think this, and then the column shape thing. I know what I saw. Oh, yeah, right, that's another dot. It's a line, never mind. Find this, that, this, column. Giving up a little line of spin on that, so. Oh, no, right. Well, the next step is to solve that puzzle. The stakes are particularly low because I've literally cleared this area out of all threats. So, as much as the music may be suspenseful, there's nothing to be suspenseful about. All the threats are done. Just pull them down. And if I pull this, 
That's too much, and that's 100%. So I need to remove some, I guess. But that's not enough. Like, how could this possibly be done? Um... Ah, oh, right. Well, I can remove as much as I, as much as this has left before from that one. Okay, let's do this. Let's swap these out. And pull as much liquid as will fit here, leaving a bit. Then flip these, and not twice. Okay, here, flip blue. Pull these out up, because I removed the smidge of liquid. I think that's the, the right one, if enough. Because the amount you want to remove, I think, is roughly... What, the amount of... What, the bigger test of the medium, or the medium minus the... Whatever, whatever. Once again, we could hypothetically figure out really how to deal with this, but uh, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And... We will not take the long way around. We will not take the scenic route. Instead, we'll just go for you. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Uh, Low and hold you. Jesus. Not here. <laughs> okay. So this is what I have. Great. Let's head through here. Should be no additional friends. Not to all, I can deal with them. Or run away from them. Or sneak past them, as I have so far. I also have my trusty knife. I'm trying to slice something. I've also finally learned to use it. Good for me, I guess. There are some things I would have a difficult time coping with, though. Like, I don't know. The tyrant breaking through other walls. Over to the right, the low temp test test testing lab. Hmm. But then back, the same way I came. That lady never gets up. But then again, this shouldn't lull me into a false sense of security. For all I know, this is the time. They'll get up. I'm watching you. If the hands are bloody, they'll probably fine. Interesting way of putting it, I guess. I could toss out a nade. Should we just do? The zombie says go down? Is it out? Interesting. Well, whatever. I'm done with this place. I mean, that thing has been cool, and I'll go through the exact same area again. Dispose it, and then we are on our way to retrieve this band's level 3. This place is an absolute must. The two healthies over here, you just gotta clear it out. If you don't, well, you'll funeral. If you don't, then you'll presumably have to keep on sneaking past the liquors. Actually, you won't. Not necessarily. If you take this path, past the... Uh, no, I guess you could have a good position, but you have to run past the liquor. So just don't. But I guess that requires you to go to a secret spot. At least one of them to get extra flame for a fuel. Dispensing solution, yeah. I did the trick. Yes, it did. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Sue me. Your actions have been locked, and you may be subject to disciplinary. Measures. That's all, folks. Oh no! You know, I heard the tyrant breaking in. I didn't want to look because I had bigger f fish to fry, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Read Cartwright's uh, message log. Nest for spies. All right. Let's all get out of the lobby and onto the West Wing. I don't even know how he came in. Through that bit of glass, like I, was, I have no idea. I don't even care. Uh, yeah, I didn't even get. The, I didn't have the time to fight that guy properly. I had to decide on the fly what I wanted to do tonight. That was exciting. Well, there's basically nothing to do in the West Wing except for the boss fight, and then the prelude to the final boss fight. Two grenades. Not clear that yet. Uh, AWS. That's Amazon Web Services. This has been used up. Let's store it permanently. Ah, uh, fine. Read the message in the weapons inbox. Type to cease research. Dr. Burkett, come along with us quietly. I think I know we're coming. This is my life. 
nice work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Burger. I'll ask you one more time. And what exactly is Bucky supposed to do? Roger, Mr. Sister, we have to take him out. Let's hurry, sir. Roger that. This is it. Let's move. So those were G-6? Yes. Bucky would have shot one of them. What was he supposed to do? Keep pointing the guns at him as he shoots them. Or try to shoot the gun out of his hand? Try to shoot him in the arm? He pulled out. He was holding a gun. Then he drew his gun, and then Martinez shot him. Unless they were supposed to value bringing him in alive above the value of their own existence, which I guess is a possibility, I don't think they handled this wrong. They were just put in a terrible situation because Burke just wouldn't resist. Sorry, desist. He would, in fact, resist. As far as assisting is concerned, he was more capable. He was. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, he was more interested in the, in the re aspect of it. Well, the D aspect of it. Anyway, it's sort of high grade gunpowder. I think combining on this screen, I guess. Which means more magnum ammo. It's 20 shots for the lightning hawk, which is, by the way, what I want to use soon enough. Obviously. Do I want to take the nades? I gotta take the flash grenade. That ought to do it. The flame roll isn't gonna do much. I'll put this away. Well, I can't save here, not quite yet. Can I have something? Is there anything else I can save here? Anything. Oh, that's, ah, yes, blue herb, whatever. There it is. Split the blue herb with the rest of the herbs. Can I combine any? It's blue, it's red. Combine these two. Any green ones? Split green ones, yes. That's one here. Make the mixture. Combine those and stall. One mixture. Let's go to green. Two, three, fall. Fall, try mixtures. You get exactly one ribbon. Okay. More high-grade gunpowder. Excellent. One for the lightning hawk. Except what I need. Anything else I want from you? Literally anything. I guess I could reload the shotgun, etc. No idea what I'm going to take for the final battle. But on my way out, I might as well use up what uh, for a few I have. I could also use it up in this confrontation, I guess. It's not that bad. And what else am I going to use up? The tyrant? Please. All right. So one. That's the penultimate save, I guess. What's happening? Obviously. And then we're doing what's done. Yeah, let's roll with this. Why not? I have the knife, so I need to use it. The fortifying mixture, which... Uh, well, the try mixture, which I'll only use if I go down to red. Huh. That was easy. All right, now back to Ada. Wait, what? Got to pick this up. Ugh. Now I'll have to redo that every single time if I have to redo this anytime. At any point in time. Lightning Hawk above that Matilda. So below that is the flame thrower. Go up from the flame thrower to reach the Lightning Hawk, down from the flame thrower. Finish it off while it's weak and come on, don't have a stupid conversation right now. Also, so is this tract. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. You're Umbrella too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Tell me everything, right from the start. <coughs> you don't get away that easily. Good God, William. What have you done? So you made this monster. 
We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I could blind it, I guess. No! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Leon. Alright, you've equipped your other item. Heal up to full. Knife it. That's not gonna help. Damn it. I'm kinda out of ammo right here. <sighs> Equipped, gotcha. What do you have here? Oh, magnum ammo. Might be dead right now, but just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I might want to pick a couple more things up. I don't have that gun on me. He's in caution, but he's presumably gonna die unless I heal him. All I have is ammo for a gun I don't have on me and the flamethrower. Well... If you don't have what you want, want what you have. Damn it, come on. Ooh. 
what do we have here? Oh, more ammo for the flamethrower. How glorious. And the young's in red now. Any more stuff to pick up around here? Large caliber ammo, that's not gonna help. Healing is, but... Uh... Yeah, 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 I should have taken the other gun, big whoop. That was a quintessential dual die situation. Had that bit of damage not killed him, I would have uh, been done for. I had nowhere to run. What do we even have? Gunpowder to mix with gunpowder. I could have gotten more ammo for Matilda. Not that 17 bullets are gonna make much of a difference. Have I just depleted all the ammo for the lightning? Oh, wait, no. I still have enough. Do I seriously not? Oh, I, oh, unbelievable. I did not actually pay enough attention to craft all that I could craft before the fight. Pathetic. Well, either way, there's some unmatched gunpowder. That's uh, not gonna do much anything. <laughs> a lot of flame from fuel, my goodness. So much luck kind of handgun ammo. I think I'm gonna have to go through the boss fight with my trusty M19. I guess I could toss a few names as well into the mix just to make things interesting. Well, what else? What else? Uh, pick the green green if I get hurt on the way. Actually, no, because I might have to pick something up, so it's not. Fine, let's stall this. Hold on. Uh, don't I need to take the level fall off on it? Uh, no, 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 I think, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, handled later. No, no saving now, I guess. Uh, anything else, anything else that I want to do, anything else that I need to do. There's some healing, some will be possible to pick up. Uh, how much ammo do I have for Matilda? Not that much. A bit, a tiny bit. Well, I guess I should empty Matilda. And that's it. Reload her, empty Matilda. I won't even get that many opportunities to shoot Matilda, so that doesn't really matter. I was just thinking about you. But there's two of us. I'm getting worried. Don't we make a good team? I'm gonna ask you something. Yes, clear. Please, tell me about it. Oh, I got it. Can we verify the G7 with the collector? Before we do that, I ran to Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Okay, I'm not. Why don't you just hand over the sample? Because I realized, I just want to trust you. I did it. I really hope you can end up with this. So that's all to us. I was just some pawn to you? Look, I was doing my job. Come to mind, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. Don't want to hurt you. <laughs> can you shoot me? I don't think you can.
here. Damn it. Come on, let's do it. Detonation. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, this is it. Well, it's not exactly it. Well, it's damn close. I'll get one more opportunity to re-equip right before the final fight. So first of all, we are saving... We're picking up the ribbon and saving right here. I should be able to make it through the boss fight with all the healing I have at my disposal with everything. Come on now. And if I can make it, my doesn't make it too. Onwards, let's not bother picking up the plans. Who cares? Blue plans, whatever. Yeah. All the now you can make it through them, but whatever, fine. Even if it is, it's not a really funny one. Move, Liana, move. Yep. You need to start with the thing. This is it, this is the final bit. Wait, are there any ribbons here? No? Okay, I'll have to go for the entire sequence then, if I were to mess up. Because... Yeah, because I have... Oh, I can't even type right here, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Alright, do I want to lock around Matilda? Is there a point? As far as the things I want for Tyrant, I do want to reload my fuel. Lightning Hawk only has six shots left. There's no further ammo for it whatsoever. The shotgun has six shots left as well. There's some gunpowder, there's nothing to mix it with. Oh, I put myself in this position. I spent all that ammo on Birkin, some of the shots were missed, and I chose not to reload, so, uh, so I get this single shot is not worth it to lug around. I am taking the P19, and the 60 shots, I, there's no way I will be able to shoot all of that. Also, the extra flame for ammo, that sounds preposterous. Also, let's not forget that I need two free slots. I don't need to waste band ever again, so there's that. That's two free slots right there. The nine units of extra ammo for Matilda, pointless. I'm gonna pop a tri mixture before the fight, so there's that. And I could take two tri mixtures with me. If I'm willing to ditch, say, the extra flame for ammo, I could get another heating mixture, or a first aid spray, or something like that. I have two first aid sprays. Uh, things I could take, grenade, whatever. Uh, do I take Matilda on this long journey? I don't think it's worth it. No Matilda, no extra ammo for Matilda, more healing. And at this point, I'm tempted to say, I have no idea what sort of an inept moron you would have to be to fail. Look at all of this. I guess I could take the combat knife with me. Uh, or do I use the grenades as, as defensive tools? The flash grenades would have also been handy, but I can have those. Okay. Ammo check, I have plenty of ammo for the flamethrower. Some spell ammo for the flamethrower is included in that. So ammo for the flamethrower, ammo for the flamethrower, not taking the shotgun with me. I'm not sure about that, but I think I'm gonna have to set the tyrant on fire. I have the lightning heart. I'll give you my most special position, I'm gonna have to shoot the explosive with it. And then the M90, I'm gonna unload it on the hard as much as I can. Also, I have, I will have four units of healing with me, including the buff applied from the very start. That's kind of ammo. Even more of that. Ah, my inventory is full, I'm sorry. Here it comes. Can I actually make it? Can I? I'll have to redo this entire thing if I fail here. in flames. He's just in caution. He'll be fine. Will he? He's still in caution. I'm gonna heal him just to be on the safe side. Is there any... Oh, oh, no, no.
I guess the ultimate upshot is that nothing over here is more important than the defensive weapons. And if that's the case, then I might as well take, say, two combat knives. This seems reasonable. So three units of healing that will have to last me the entire fight. Two defensive weapons for when I get a bit too close and personal. The M19 I'll have to... Uh, I presumably should empty the Lightning Hawk first, if at all possible. I also gotta toss those silly nades. But if I want to toss those silly nades, then I'll have to equip those silly nades. All right then. Oh, right, of course, you. Well, you don't matter. Pop this. Actually, first, equip this. Pop it. Pick up the plug. Switch to the Lightning Hawk. And let's go. That's all she wrote for the Lightning Hawk. All right, I tossed the nade, equipped the knife. Gotta aim for the heart, not roughly where the heart should be, but where it actually is. And gotta hide behind rubble, that's my best hope. Gotta aim for the heart a bit. Really, not a lot, a bit. And when he charges, just put some rocks between you and him. That's it. We'll call it I didn't know we were keeping skull. Where did this thing come from? Pop it. Don't drop it. They said different ending. You have arrived at the bottom level. Then in scenario B you get a different ending. Does that Does that mean that uh, there's more fighting to be done or does it just mean that we get a different outro? Yeah, get on the train. Pull yourself up! And out we go. Right, give me the different outro for scenario B. I've struggled far too much with this, my goodness. I can't believe I actually miss her. Lehan? You 
made it. Just like I said we would. Who's this? This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What was that? I don't know. I'll go. Take care of Sherry. Both? Is it both? Head to the last call. Well, I... Hey, I've... I mean, the outro very strongly hints at this, doesn't it? It's... Uh, that you've got some unfinished business, though, ultimately. Using that anti-tank rocket on the zombies might not have been the smartest of ideas, then. All right, we are ditching the Lightning Hawk. <sighs> yes, we are. We sure are. Because uh, I've used up all the ammo in it. I should it. Yes, ammo for Matilda. Trepophetically craft some ammo for Matilda. Two knives, the first aid spray. This just checks whether you're in it for the long haul, I guess. Did you actually collect enough ammo throughout the entire exp- Oh dear. That's it. That's what's ulti Should I? I presumably should take the, the rocket launch. I mean, why Why wouldn't I? Uh, most importantly, yeah, let's bring on this. Jeez. Should have, shouldn't have used that final shot, but whatever, whatever. If I absolutely desperately have to reload, then so be it. I can try to go through the tyrant fight and possibly I might do better. But do I take Matilda along with some ammo? I don't need this unless I... Uh, and I can mix it with some regular, regular old um, gunpowder. No, should have used the two large gunpowders to make even more handgun ammo. But then again, I won't be able to take much, now will I? Mm, I can absolutely take Matilda, and presumably I ought to. Taking three knives sounds a bit excessive. Alright, without further ado, let's uh, see what we're up against, let's see what we're working with here. These have made a save. Oh, that's terrifying. I think it might. Feed it! Feed it all be defeated! I exposed. I should have shot the eye with the rocket launcher when it was ex Is that it? Or do we go for the other car? I'll be fine! Just, just... We've got to lose that car! Yes. I'll get to the other one! <laughs> Don't leave Leon behind! You can't... You can't just... Clell? Leon, can you make it to... Come on! Run! Leon, you can make it! Just... Don't be a bloody hero! Leon, give me your hand! Kick it! That, no, that, okay, it's detached.
It was a fall easier confrontation than I had anticipated, but yeah, when, expose, when it inevitably exposes a giant eye, shoot the eye, presumably with the rocket launcher, and that's it. Simple enough. But I still couldn't execute it quite perfectly, but hey, I, I still got it the first time around. So, are you guys, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? No. We're just... Uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. Would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look, he might be able to give us a ride. And who is that? What if it's not just the city? Get Cherry out of here. Ma. Well. He's not a friend. Friendly. <laughs> so, is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. You're damn right, Leon. Right well. so if we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. Hey. <laughs> We can get a puppy. A uh, puppy. And a parrot. Sure. Great. I always wanted pets, but my mom said they're too messy. You know. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. I wasn't prepared for this responsibility. That's terrifying. Is it more terrifying than what we have faced? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have it in me to. To ham up the cheesiness, yeah, that'll be cheese and ham indeed. Oh my, that was that was terrible. That was pathetic. My my heart rate was through the roof. I have no idea why, but at the at the very least, I have managed to eventually get past it, struggling pretty much the entire way through. But then again, as I have said in previous outros to Resident Evil games played on the highest difficulty level, that's just the way I do it most of the time anyway. I'm just somewhat disappointed in myself in the fact that uh, the game wasn't sufficiently familiar to me for the execution not to be a factor anymore. But hey, that's the way things play out sometimes. And that's the way they have played out this time. I don't think there's much for me to see over here in the credits section, so let's just skip it. Leon Kennedy second, play through all you know. Scenario B, hot call mode, 7 hours 50 minutes and 28 seconds, 29 saves, and I get a rank of C. Could have been worse, I guess, could have been worse. And I guess all that remains right now is to get through the game the fourth and final time. Game mode, extra mode, the fourth survivor. A new game mode has been added. Interesting. I, I might possibly, cause oh come on! I thought I was almost over with the entire thing. I thought it was done. Well, I don't know. I do not know anymore. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll give it a chance, maybe I won't. I think, I think all that I have left is to beat the game in scenario B as clear, and then I will truly be done with the entire thing. Now, if there's parity in all of this, then I would hazard a guess that after Claire has the encounter with Birkin, that what? She would have to face the tyrant one final time? That would work in terms of parity, but then again, that one final confrontation with the ultimate form of Birkin does seem to be particularly compelling, and I would expect it to play out pretty much the same way in Claire's playthrough. I don't know, I don't care, we're not going for a fourth playthrough anytime soon. So, who knows, but uh, I guess Claire might just be plagued the entire time by William Birkin. Anyway, thank you all all so much for watching, and you will see me elsewhere.